Spillout is made up of angle of approach, which here is level, which will be descending, which will be ascending, and dynamic loft. Dynamic loft will vary depending on the club you're using and the way that you apply the club to the ball through the impact area. The bigger the gap between dynamic loft and angle of approach, the bigger the spin loft. The smaller that gap, the smaller the spin loft. And as a difference being that the spin loft is when it's greater, means a greater amount of spin of the ball. The lower the spin loft, the smaller the gap, the smaller less less the spin is on the ball. In order for us to change the parameters of launch and spin on any particular shot, we need to affect this relationship. So if we just take this as an example, angle of approach being level to the floor and dynamic loft being around 30 degrees, and we just make everything slightly steeper, i.e. the club is now de-lofted as the angle of approach is steepened, we haven't affected the gap, so we won't change the spin between the two shots. All we will do in effect is lower the launch angle. Similarly, as the, if the launch angle is made more ascending, and the spin loft didn't change, we would still have the same gap, so the same spin, we'd just be launching the ball that much higher. So, if we maintain the angle of approach, let's use this as, as level here, and we just add dynamic loft, we are in effect creating a bigger gap, which means we're creating more spin, and we're also heightening the launch angle very, very slightly. If we lower the dynamic loft at impact with the same angle of approach, we're reducing the amount of spin and we're also lowering the initial launch angle. If we maintain the loft but can manage to create a swing where the angle of approach is more downward, we have again affected that gap, we've made it bigger and therefore we're increasing the spin. If we take it and make it more ascending, then we've narrowed the gap, so we're reducing the distance, but we're also heightening the launch angle very slightly. So, most important things to remember when we're trying to affect a launch angle and spin rate is affecting your angle of approach and your dynamic loft at the moment of impact. Bigger gap means more spin, smaller gap means lower spin. Ball will always start closer to dynamic loft than angle of approach, therefore any change in the dynamic loft is going to change the initial direction of the golf ball. Okay. These rules apply pretty much for every loft up to around, around, around about 50 to 60 degrees where, that, where at that particular point we start to lose compression on the ball and with the spin will actually start to move back towards less spin. But that's a, a story for another day.